if anything or anyone threatens our children or their happiness, I know I have to be the one to protect them. And as anyone who's gone mountain climbing knows the serene covered peaks that look so tranquil from a distance, are the deadliest. My mother said that out of five of her children, I was the easiest baby. I think what she meant by it was that I hardly cried, rarely fussed, and was generally asleep, which was a good thing for her. As the fourth of five, she had a lot to deal with before she could get to me, so I made it easier for her. I kept doing it as I grew up. If one of my siblings dropped her ice cream, Mommy, that's my favorite Black Forest ice cream, Mommy! Shh, here's mine. Stop crying, okay? I give them mine so they'd stop making a scene. When someone had to sit in a middle seat, Yay! <laughs> that's where you used to sit! <laughs> Duh! I'll sit on the other side because I need some fresh air. Mm, uh, uh, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. You can bet that's where my car seat would be strapped. Um, by the way, my nickname was Montanita! It's time to eat! I was like a little mountain because I was never moved, never bothered, and always calm. Yes, I was always like that. In 7th grade, We have 16 points for Red Titan and 18 points for Blue Eagle Bot, which is now 15 seconds left. The ball is on Red Titan's side. The question is, will they be able to shut it? I'm holding the ball, aiming for the three-point shot, but before I could even have the chance. Oh, I'm sorry, Montañita. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Mm, yes, I can manage. <clears throat> I broke my leg, but I didn't tell anyone for three days. I just gritted my teeth and hopped along until my father found me crying on the bathroom floor. He brought me to the hospital and bought me a cast we couldn't afford. And when the kids at the school called me, Loser! Well, you can guess what I did. And when I got catcalled walking across campus, I just looked down at the ground. And you, the first day you came up to me, Hey, you want a sip of coffee? I stayed quiet. Eventually, you flashed me that blinding smile and told me, Yes, I'll take that as a yes then. That was very quick though. And I think I said about three words to you that first day. But I gave you my number and answered when you called. But first, I think you just thought I was shy. But... As the months went on and things got more serious, you started to get upset when I didn't tell you things. When I got fired from my part-time job and started skipping lunch to afford my textbooks, I didn't tell you because I know it had upset you. You were so mad when you figured it out. Here, take it. I don't need it. 
you know, I have a scholarship. You know, my parents send me money. Take the damn money. I just stood there. I've never had someone yell at me while doing something nice before. And when you noticed how stunned I was, you softened your voice. Please, it hurts me to see you starving yourself. Please, take the money. For the first time ever, I talked back. Why? <laughs> because I love you, Hidya. I took the money but snuck most of it back into your wallet that night when you were asleep. For most of the time we dated, he never fought. Even when one of your friends tried to tell me, Hey, your man is cheating on you. I know you hadn't. Friend was just a jerk. And when he tried to tell me, I just stared at him. Did he cry? Or yell? Or demand for any proof? He kept trying to convince me. But I stayed so calm that he eventually gave up and admitted the truth. Later, you told me you couldn't believe how amazing I was to trust you so much. The truth was, I had no idea if it was the truth or not, and I just didn't react because I knew if I did, it wouldn't change the outcome. And I learned that staying calm in situations like that gave me power. Our marriage to you had very few fights. If you didn't take the trash, you said you would, and I did it. And when you noticed I'd done your chores, you felt so bad that you'd do some of mine to make it up. When our children misbehaved, I never raised my boys or screamed or made a scene. I just asked them what they did, and eventually they came. Our oldest told me once, it'd be much less scary if I just shouted at them like Dad did. I figured it stayed like it was. Calm, quiet, peacemaker, and non-reactive for the rest of my life. Exactly what changed the moment you left this earth. But it was like it was like I was blue one moment and red the next. Hard as ice before I melted into a hurricane. I was a mess for a year or two. I think before I managed to get everything. But even now, I'm not like the always. I'm so calm and rational. They think for a speak. But if anything or anyone threatens our children or their happiness, I know I have to be the one to protect them. And as anyone who's gone mountain climbing 
knows the serene covered peaks that look so tranquil from a distance are the dead.